feel blue? Doctor Who. The sea. Sky. The eyes of the guy I like. <laughs> the sea in Egypt lay on the beach. Now I come to think of it, the sea's more green. <laughs> Box of chocolates on Valentine's Day, big red hearts, you know, boyfriends, you know, stuff like that. I don't know. Um, in some ways, I believe it's a myth, and in some ways, I believe it's something you have to find. <clears throat> the Valentine's card that I found two days ago down the back of my wardrobe, which is from my ex-boyfriend, which I don't know why it was down there. I probably kept it for some reason. I guess it's something that can make you feel great, but terrible at the same time. I don't like rain because you don't go out very much at night. It's rubbish and like you always stay in the house all the time and like play and everything. Mm. Like staying in after you've been in school and like watching something on the telly when it's all getting dark and there's rain outside. And going to sleep when the rain's like pattering against yeah. your window and your roof. I love that. Happy. Rain makes you feel happy. Live in love how you want to live it. Like, don't let anyone else tell you how to live in. Don't let anyone else tell you who to be. Just like be yourself. It's nothing more important than that. To be honest, I think the most important thing in life is passion, trust, and love. Because if you don't have them, then you wouldn't get anywhere in life. Happiness. The most important thing is, is family, having family around you. Um, I don't know why, but I think of elephants when I hear the word family. Because <laughs> they like each other and they like, like, bathe each other and stuff. So hold each other's tail. Yeah. <laughs> a group of people who love each other a lot and would do anything for each other. I mean, it's a support system to be able to grow and look after and children. Uh, Nanny Teresa, Daddy, Mummy, Ali, Grandma and Grandad, yep. Nanny Jones, Auntie Sally and Dylan. Anyone else in our family? Bonkers. Bonkers. Who's Bonkers? The dog. Bonkers the dog, yes. I think it's a sense of history, knowing that family have gone before and that you're, what you're doing now and the things that you might be thinking about and collecting and keeping in your home might be passed down through future generations. I think with family, you can be like yourself around them, as bad as that sounds, but like sometimes with friends, you, have to, you sort of like put on an act, if you know what I mean, but not like all the time, but yeah. Like your family sees you without makeup on and that, whereas your friends don't. And I think people are, are quite jealous of our family. I think they yeah, should. You, you talk to people, and they're all they do. A lot of people do say, mm. "Oh, I wish I'd got a relationship like that with my parents, yeah. or with That's my sister, true. or with my niece and nephew, That's and true. all the others." Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean, we share good times and bad times, don't we? we? Each year, my sister's children have a photograph taken in the same place every year. They've done it every year since they were babies apart from 2001 when they weren't allowed to go into the field because of the foot and mouth outbreak. But uh, each year I look forward to seeing what I call the bluebell picture. To be perfectly honest, I find that I play with uh, the grandchildren a lot more than I play with my own children. Um, perhaps we've got more time. So. But, and I have a lot of fun with the grandchildren. So. Sunday is chaos at your house, isn't it? Oh, yes. <laughs> I'm not going to go, Ali's on his tractor. Yeah, so my sister's there with her two boys and... They're on the motorbikes. Yes. Noise. Do you love, our, do you love your nanny and granddad? Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> Haven't gone as far as a holiday together yet. That might be pushing it a little. <laughs>
you know, a family's not really a family if they don't love each other and trust each other. be like an orchestra warming up, there'd be trumpets going off in one direction and drums in another and a flute trying to play and they come together in parts of it but generally it's just loud chaos, lots of different things happening. What do dads do? Um, nag? Watch telly and <laughs> read biker magazines. They build rope swings. <laughs> Go have a nap and have a sleep. <laughs> and granddad too. <laughs> and granddad. <laughs> well, being a daddy princess, daddy's there with his wallet wide open ready to help, isn't he? <laughs> when I usually get home from school, um, one of the times, um, dad was sweating. <laughs> because he did lots of work. Dads are there for when you go to your mum and ask if you can borrow some money for something, but they say no. Yeah, so dad, dad will give you the yes. money. My dad like helps me for everything. Like, whatever my mum can't help me with, my dad will. I think it's, it's a lot different today than what it was with my father. All I remember my father was he, he went to work, he came home, and that was it. I don't, don't really remember actually going out and playing with my father. He never kicked a ball around with me or anything. When in our day, the mum stayed home, looked after the children, and uh, the dads went out to work and that was it. But now, the mums go out to work too, so the dads have to make a bigger contribution to looking after them. So all he had to do was... Oh, oh I remember Grandad's tut. Yes. <laughs> so, he didn't have to tell us off, we just had to hear that tut. And we knew we were on thin ice. <laughs> yeah, they just like look after you and keep you out of harm's way until you're old enough to look after yourself. Work. What do you do? What's your work? Homework. Lego. School work. I've always enjoyed work. I've, I've never had a job that I haven't enjoyed, and, and I don't think I could have worked in a job that, that I didn't enjoy. Mm. And I didn't want to retire, but now that I am retired, I think it's wonderful. Mm.